All right, I got another quick sewing project here. Um, this one is caused because I was carrying my knife in this pocket and the metal clip has wore the pocket edge out. Uh, it doesn't, uh, whatever you carry in your pocket will do this. Problem is now it's frayed. If you tear a, a Levi fabric or a woven fabric, you're better to repair it before you wash it because once you wash it, you get this fray. And I wanted to take care of this fray. So in the last sewing video we did, I had a machine set to zigzag and I had, had the needle set to one side. I'm gonna put the needle back in the center I am going to do a zigzag, and this time I'm going to choose uh, 20, 20 stitches per inch. What I want to do is try to stop this fraying. Let's see if we can see that good. Yeah, I think that's good enough. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to open the pocket up, lay this fabric in there. I'm going to start with a reverse. Then we're going to go forward. And when you do this, you're going to have to push your fabric through because there's not a lot of fabric for the, for the walking foot to grip. Then we're going to go back again. Then we're going to move around and go forward again. All right, the reason we're doing this is because the fabric is frayed. All right. So you'll see the fray is stitched down a little bit now. From the last video, I did find my scissors. They were upstairs, not down here in my little man space. Now, we need to reattach this to this piece over here. In order to do that, let's pull this thread out a little bit. I'm gonna lay this down. I wanna pull this over here next to the seam of the pants where it would normally go. And I'm gonna use a pen. But I'm not gonna use that pen because it's just bent. That happens. We'll throw that one away. What I'm doing is using that pen to hold that hold that fabric. All right. And we're going to lose a little bit of the pocket access, but that's okay. Let's drop this down. And we're just going to do straight stitches now. Forward and reverse. All right. So 20 forward. Oh no. That, that, there was a problem. All right, that needle broke. And it probably broke because it's a little, little bit lightweight. So let's pull out a jean needle. Let's see if we can see that good. All right. So we're gonna pull that needle out, throw it away. Got a new needle, a little bit heavier. Now we gotta pull some thread out. When you're sewing on Levi's, this is bound to happen. Now this 
This is a little tool for pulling thread through the needle. And what you do is this is easier to push through the needle. And because I don't see good close up, I've got bifocals. It gives you a bigger hole. Get your thread through. Then you pull the thread back out through the needle. All right. There is something going around on the internet about what this tool is. And that's what it is. Then we need to rich, get rid of this little piece of needle that's stuck in here. All right. Yes, I'm using toenail clippers because I'm a guy. That's what guys do. We use the wrong tool for the wrong job whenever it suits us. All right. Let's see if I. There we go. So we're going forward. You remember in the last video I talked about these needles. You can walk across these needles, but every now and then you'll hit it, and that's what happens is it shatters your sewing needle. So now that I've walked across this, I'm going to use that thread to hold this fabric where I want it because it will stay there now. Pull my pen out. And then we're just gonna go back and forth. And every time we go back and forth, we're gonna shift the fabric a little bit. And one of the things you wanna do is when you turn fabric, have your needle in to the fabric. That makes sure that you, your alignment's good. Now these are work pants, so I'm not real concerned. Yeah, let's, all right, I don't know if you heard that or not. I push the button, push the, the, the button. I push the pedal and the machine stopped and hummed. Don't, don't force the machine to do that. Get off the pedal, use your hand wheel. All right. Last forward stitch. And we're going to call that good. Alright. I'm going to cut off the excess thread. And that there, you've lost a quarter inch of your pocket access. That's fine. But everything's back together. And these are not my Sunday pants, so I really don't care about this little fray. I really don't care that this may not look as neat as, as, you, as you would hope. The truth of the matter is, you can trim the frays up, but the truth is, very few people will ever notice this. Get you a thread that's similar in color. Most people don't, don't notice the repairs. All right, so that's how you repair a, a torn pocket.